Hello. Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. I was going to say Wednesday. It's Thursday. Um, so I want to talk about foundations. There are six different kinds that pharmacy offers. Um, it's my little reading cheat sheets again. These are the six here and then the shades that they all come in. So I'm going to go through and talk about each one, what type of skin type it's for, and then how, if you're interested in any of them, how we would get you color matched so that you get the right color. So I'm going between the catalog and the actual color chart here. So CC cream, that's the one that I tried first and I really like and I purchased a full size. Um, so CC cream, it's color corrector cream. Um, the description of it is lightweight formula helps to Instantly cover skin imperfections and balance uneven skin tone. That's why I like it. I have redness in so many areas and it helps blur that all together. It makes my face more one color. I'm not wearing any foundation today. I went super simple and I just have my creamy eyeshadow, a little bit of eyeliner, and my Optimal Mascara. That's all I did today. I'm out of my CC cream. I don't like the stuff that I had been using prior to that, so I just said forget it. I'm going to wait until my order comes in. So CC Crave, it comes in four different shades and super lightweight, feels awesome on the skin. Stay matte. I did try that one as well. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let's go through the whole thing here. CC Cream. It is natural finish, medium to high coverage. So it'd be medium coverage the way I put it on, just like that light layer. It's going to be medium coverage, help even everything out. If you want full coverage, you can layer it. So you'd put your small, you know, little bit on and kind of either lay it up in certain spots or layer it up on the whole thing, get full coverage out of it. Um, all skin types, that one is good for. Stay matte. I had tried that one and I did a half face of it and then I did a full face also. The shade that I tried was not my shade. Um, I didn't get my shade as a sample, um, but it was recommended to me that that one is not most ideal for me because I have combination skin. I'm oily in certain areas and I'm super dry in other areas. My cheeks get super dry, my nose is super dry, so Stay Matte is not for me. But if you have oily skin, it's for you. Um, so it's a Stay Matte foundation with its multi-mineral complex effects, provides shine control and matte look with high coverage. Um, so it's full coverage for oily skin. So if you have oily skin, this one is up your alley. Matte finish, obviously. Full coverage, oily combination skin. So I guess it would depend on how dry you get, but it, this one's definitely more geared towards oily skin. Um, when I tried it, I, let, I didn't mind it, but in the areas that my skin is dry, you can kind of see it. So it's it's not for me. Um, so that's the Stay Matte. Next one, so that's two, four to go. BB Cream. I got some samples of this one because I am interested in trying it out. Um, this one also comes in four shades. Real similar to the CC Cream, but this one is more moisturizing. So this one is for all skin types, medium to high coverage as well. But it's got a lot more... Um, nutrients for moisturizing your skin. Um, if you're watching live, please let me know. If you're watching replay, please let me know. I like to see where everyone's coming from. And then I also repurpose my videos and I post them. It's live on Facebook right now. I will post it over to IGTV if it lets me. That's been kind of wonky lately. And then I also have been uploading them to YouTube. Mommy Loves Caffeine has a YouTube channel now. So if you want to watch any of my other videos, head over to YouTube and then subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe if you go to YouTube. Um, so BB Cream is uh, macadamia oil, vitamin B3, oat extract, argan oil, um, silk protein, SPF 15, and collagen. So this one would be really good for summer. So I'm hoping that the coverage is similar to CC Cream because this one would be really good for summer because it already has SPF in it. So you wouldn't have to worry about putting moisturizer sunscreen foundation or finding a moisturizer that has a sunscreen in it. This would just take care of everything. And I don't even know that you would need moisturizer underneath it. Um, like I said, I got samples of it. I'm going to try it both ways. Um, and then let's see what's the next one. So that's what? That's three. Three to go. Three to go. 
And did I say natural finish, medium to high coverage? So again, one layer would be medium coverage. If you want full coverage, keep going. Put some more on. All skin types. And okay. VFX Pro Camera Ready. I'm going to have to play around with some foundations before I get ballsy enough to try this one. Because I've watched videos on all of these. I've watched videos on women putting them on and seen the coverage and seen the after and all of that. So I have seen all of them. I have not tried all of them, obviously. But this one is full coverage. And let me just read the description here. VFX Foundation. A velvety and flawless finish. High coverage and long wear. Suitable for all skin types. Uh, with implemented photo filter technology, reflects and diffuses the light and provides invisible matte finish even close up. So that's, I was talking about um, the camera ready primer that it has photo filter technology and I said I had to look more up on that. It actually deflects light. So it's, it's crazy. Like I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to have to play around with some foundation more before I'm ready for that because I'm not a big full coverage fan, but trying this I might be. So we'll, we'll see. Um, comes in quite a few shades. Let's see, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different shades, full coverage, all skin types, velvety skin. I've heard all the videos I watched that it feels like your skin. It's not, it's not heavy, but it looks awesome. So maybe my next order. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So that's what five, one to go. What's the last one here? Flawless touch cream. Um, so this one is a compact cream. Let's read on it. I have not looked into this one at all. It's light and powdery texture leaves a smooth feeling on the skin, smooth appearance, velvety finish, high coverage, easy application, creamy formula makes it easy to apply without feeling heavy. Um, it has texture that softens with the warmth of your skin and it perfectly integrates with your skin. That sounds interesting. So whoever just gave me some hearts there, thank you very much watching live. Um, according to this velvety finish, full coverage, all skin types. I might look into that one too. That kind of, that seems interesting to me. I don't know that I've seen this in any videos. I'm going to have to do some digging or if anybody that's on my team has used this or anything. Hey, Adrian. Um, I watched your daughter's, your daughter's video. She's so cute. She did a video of her daughter putting, her five-year-old daughter putting her makeup on for her. It was adorable. Haley's not old enough for that. I thought after watching that, that I might attempt to let Haley put lipstick on me. She's two, by the way. So we'll see. We'll see. Um... Yeah, I think that'd be a really fun video, though. <laughs> I think people would do that. Oh, but the Flawless Touch Cream Foundation. So that one seems, that's interesting. Like I said, I want to see more on it. I research. I'm even, like, I am a beauty influencer for this company, and I am promoting this company, obviously, and I really, really like everything I have tried. But I want to do digging on it before I try it or before I say, hey, this sounds really good, you should try it, because I want to see somebody actually put it on and see what it looks like, how it performed. Only the liquid. Yeah, Adrian, she's a, a beauty influencer too. Um, yes, do it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I'll try. Um, but she's never tried it either. So, yes, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to find a video on somebody using the Flawless Touch because it sounds interesting. It's powdery fix or velvety finish is what it says full coverage. So, and it says easy application. So easy application is the best. Um, okay. So that's all the foundations, all six foundations. That is the, the nitty gritty on all of those. Um, if you want to get color matched, if you're interested in any of these, um, to get color matched, you would send me a selfie from about chest up in natural light. So like right now I'm sitting, the window is behind me here so that I have natural light on me right now. There's no, I have no, um, flash. I have no, no light going on other than the window. So this right here would be almost ideal because there's a little bit of a shadow on my face. So you'd want to move over enough to where when you take the picture, you take, you know, your selfie, selfie mode. And um, get a picture from about here up. 
because we're matching it to your neck, not your face. So like I have redness in my face. I don't need like a pinky um, tone for a foundation though because we're matching it to my neck, which gets kind of pink too. But you want everything to match your neck. So if you're interested, let me know or just shoot me over a selfie and I'll know what you mean. But then I'll want to know um, what your skin type is. And there's all this cheat sheet in here. I should have left that open. Um, need to know whether you're light, fair, medium, or medium to dark skin tone. Um, you find that out by your veins. Whether you have, um, I don't know if you can see in the camera. I have blue-green veins. So, um, where does it say that? Vein test. Check out the veins on the inside of your wrist. If it's more dormant color is blue or purple, your cool skin tone. Green veins is warm skin tone. And if you can't tell if it's between blue or green, you're neutral. So that's me. I'm neutral because it's bluish green. It's definitely not purple. Um, so we'll want to know that. And then like whether you burn or if you tan or things like that, it, it just helps to I didn't know about using the neck to match. Heck yeah, you gotta match to your neck. Or else you get like that weird line. You don't, I've seen your videos, Adrian. You look awesome when you're fitness with your makeup. Um, but where am I getting this info? I am reading it directly from the um, color chart that came in my kit when I signed up with pharmacy. Um, so I'm, I'm reading because I'm new <laughs> and I don't wanna misspeak. Um, so that's where that came from. But, but yeah, so to get color matched, just, um, shoot me over a selfie and then which one you would be interested in. They're all on the website. Um, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting, there's comments coming through, which is great. Thank you so much for the comments. Um, but I'm getting distracted. Um, send me over a selfie, which foundation you would be interested in like I said they're all on the website so it's whether you want full coverage if you want medium coverage um, if you want that velvety finish if you want a matte finish if you're oily if you're dry things like that um, and I'll ask all those questions if you shoot me over a thing but teaching you so much see and I started following you because I thought you were rocking it so here we go helping each other um don't care for liquid but I like to try everything so well Yeah, for sure. I like, I definitely want to try things before I'm fully telling people this is so great. Like the CC cream, I can honestly tell you it's awesome. It's, everybody's skin tone is different, but for me personally, I have redness and I'm new to foundation. I have always hated foundation because I've never found, for one, the right color. For one, I knew nothing about how to find um, what my skin type is, this, that, whatever. I always thought that, um... I have dry skin, so I need all this dewy finish stuff, and it always looked terrible. It never looked good, but I didn't know any of this stuff. I had never thought to ask. I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't know color matching was a thing. Um, so I am learning so much through this, and all because I reached out to my daughter's daycare lady and said, hey, I am interested in that company you've been talking about. I need a new mascara, and I need a new setting powder, and ta-da. <laughs> Here we are. Um, so I'm on lunch and I need to go eat. My tummy's gurgling. But thank you so much for watching. If I didn't answer any of those questions, I'm, I'll scroll through them here when I'm done here and I'll answer them there. But again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, again, let me know if you're watching it replay. I appreciate it. If you're watching it over on IGTV, let me know if I can get it to post there. And YouTube. Um, I'm really going to start pushing my YouTube channel. I'm really excited about that. Um, but it's mommy loves caffeine on YouTube. So go over there. I have I think all of the videos I've done so far are on there um, So yeah, so go through and watch some and and make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it I'm getting really excited about that. CC is the best. Yes, it is it rocks. Okay. Have a wonderful Thursday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye